Pages for the iPad does not include an equation editor. So I did a little searching around on the App Store and found an equation editor app that I think will work fairly conveniently in place of an actual built-in app. The equation editor that I chose was MathBot. And the MathBot app has two windows. It's got a window where you will input your equation in text format and then it's got a window that shows what your equation will look like once it's rendered. There's a menu that shows uh, all the custom equations that you've created. Now, here's where I'm going to store my equation templates, equation formats that I use fairly frequently. Now, these are equations that came already on the app when I got it just to demonstrate what it's capable of. I'm going to create a new equation. I'm going to create uh, a template for a linear equation, something simple. Okay, Y. Now I've got menus up here and here's my operations menu. Y equals and in place of the slope, I'm going to go ahead and put uh, a fraction there to make it easier to input fractions when I get ready to use it. I'm going to go to this menu. It's got a fraction option. And on top of my fraction, I'm going to go ahead and put delta x. So I'm going to go to my Greek letters. I need to go to the capitals, delta. Now X has to be embraces. So X embraces. Now I'm going to go to my second set of braces where the denominator of the fraction is going to be. And I'm going to put delta Y. Go to capitals, delta, and Y has to be in braces. It'll take a little bit of time learning uh, how to write equations in text format if you're not already familiar with it. I wasn't familiar with it and I picked up on it fairly quickly. Uh, so I've got my slope times X. plus B. No, plus didn't show up. Plus B. The more you use this app, uh, the quicker you'll get uh, typing out equations. You'll learn what's in what menu. Okay, so I've got my uh, linear equation template. Now, if I go to the menu right now, it's got that equation, but it hasn't been rendered yet. I learned just through trial and error using this app that, first of all, I just want to change the name. I'm going to, instead of equation number 13, I'm going to call it linear equation. Okay, and in order for the equation to actually render, we're going to have to export it. You can either export it to the pasteboard. In that case, you would have to go directly to the app you're going to use it in and paste it somewhere. I'm wanting to do several equations, so I'm going to export it as an image to my photo album. Okay, now when I go to my menu, there it is, fully rendered. So now I'm going to keep this in here permanently. Anytime I need to uh, write a linear equation for a test or a worksheet, I'm going to go to that. And I can... I want to change 
the delta x to an actual number. Now when you select that, you want to get the backslash and the x in the braces. So make sure you get the whole thing. And I just want to change that to a number. I'm going to change it to a 2. I'm going to change the delta y I can, there we go. Now I have to get the backslash in front of the delta and the Y embraces. I'm going to change that to a 5 and I'm going to change my Y intercept to a 4. Okay, now this is the equation I'm wanting to use in the worksheet, so I'm going to export to my photo album. Now I'm going to make uh, one more of these equations. Depending on how many equations uh, you want to have on your worksheet or test, go through and do however many equations you're going to be using. Okay, I'm just going to, I'm going to make that a minus this time. Okay, export it to the photo album. Okay, now you notice in your template it's been changed, but that's fine. These numbers are just placeholders now, and you can go through and anytime you need a linear equation in the slope intercept format, you've got one ready to go that you just make your changes to. Okay, now I'm going to go to Pages. And I've got some templates already set up in here also. Here's a template for a worksheet. And I've got a template that I use for graph paper. I just went through the internet, searched for some images of different types of graph paper that I might want to use in the future on a test or a worksheet. And I just saved them all on one document so that I can go back later and copy and paste if I ever want to use them. Okay. Here's a template for my worksheet. I'm going to make a copy of that so that I'll still have my template. My worksheet. Copy it. I'm done there. I want to change the name of this. It's not a template anymore. It's going to be my actual not lag algebra worksheet. I'm going to go to my algebra worksheet and I've got some placeholders in place of course I'll put algebra it's an algebra worksheet in place of instructions I've got my instructions in italics already I'll just select that and input my instructions uh, I'm going to ask the students to graph each equation. Okay, and my placeholder for my problems. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put the numbers in where I'm going to want them. I'm going to do two equations. Problem number one, and I'm going to tab over a few times. the middle of the page. I guess you could insert columns that might make this easier. Okay, that's where problem number two is going to go. Okay, now I need to insert my equations. Since our equations are in the photo album, I'm just going to go to my media folder. Oh, let me move over here. I don't know if that's going to make a difference though. 
you'll see when you insert your equation, you see I've already got some equations in here, when you insert your equations, this I don't like, it's huge. You've got to shrink it down and then just move it. I'm going to shrink that down some more. And place it nicely. Insert my second equation. Okay, reduce that. Oops. And I like how you've got that lined up. The little line shows that you've got lined up. This one's a little bit bigger. I'm going to shrink it down some more. Okay, now I've got my two equations. That doesn't look too bad. Uh, now, I mentioned earlier, I've got my page with different types of graph paper. I'm going to go to my graph paper template, pick one of those. Oops. I want to copy it. There we go. Don't double tap it, just tap it once. I want to copy. Okay, and paste. And there's a nice graph for your student to graph that equation on. Paste again. And there's a nice graph. You get it lined up nicely with the little guidelines. And this is more convenient when you're not doing it in front of a camera with just a little pen. It's easier, but I think it looks nice. And one thing, I hope sometime in the future, Apple includes a built-in equation editor because I would like to be able to, in the future, in future years, go back and double tap on this equation and be able to edit it in the document instead of going back to MathBot, redoing a whole new equation and inserting it. But for now, this looks like it might work nicely.